Let's talk a little bit about two saws that are fairly similar in their application, but they are distinctly different uh, in, in, in other aspects. And one of them is a bandsaw. And to review, a bandsaw has this blade that goes around in a large circle. And the blade just continuously goes around with teeth pointing down and you push the wood into that blade and the downward blade cuts through the wood. A jigsaw, on the other hand, is a reciprocating saw and it has a blade, the, the, it, it sits on the surface you are cutting and the blade goes up and down as opposed to around in a circle. Now, when would you use one and when would you use the other? First of all, a bandsaw has the advantage of being able to do repeatable, precise cuts because you use a table and you can use a fence. So if I want to make a precise, exact cut, I can line up the workpiece against the fence, drive it through the blade, and we will get a perfectly square cut uh, through the material. I can make the same basic cut with a jigsaw, but it's handheld and there's nothing that's making it precisely follow the line. So it will not be as precise in its straight line as the bandsaw would be. Uh, however, I have to bring the workpiece to the bandsaw. So if the workpiece is very large or very heavy, I can't, I might not be able to bring it to the bandsaw. The jigsaw, on the other hand, I can take to the workpiece regardless of where it is. So that's a big difference. Now both the bandsaw and the jigsaw can cut circles in the wood. So if we mark out a circle on a piece of wood, I can follow that circle by pushing through the blade and turning the workpiece. You would want to select a, a blade that is not does not have very much depth so that you can turn without binding it. With the jigsaw, we turn the saw blade against a stationary piece of material uh, which has a rounded surface, a rounded uh, mark that we want to cut to. So both of them can do that. There are limitations. The limita uh, limitation on the jigsaw cutting in a curve, or straight for that matter, is how thick the wood is. As you can see, if you get the wood too thick, you exceed the depth that the blade can go through the wood. Whereas the bandsaw, I can cut this depth of wood because I can fit that size of wood through there. That allows us to do something called resawing. Resawing is uh, a, a capability that you get with a bandsaw that you do not have at all with a reciprocating saw. Here's a three quarter inch piece of thick piece of wood. Let's say I need a half inch piece of wood. Using the bandsaw, I can push it through the wood, push it through the saw blade this way being careful with my hands, of course, and, and, and bringing safety into, into play, I can cut this very thick, very thick piece of wood into uh, a narrower piece of wood. That's called resawing. So that is a capability I can do on the bandsaw that I cannot do on a jigsaw. So to reiterate what we've talked about, the jigsaw and the bandsaw uh, are both versatile tools that can be used to cut straight lines or circles. Uh, an advantage of the jigsaw is that we can take it to the piece that we're trying to cut, and whereas the bandsaw, we have to bring the piece we're trying to cut to the saw. A jigsaw like this can cut an unlimited square size piece of wood uh, any kind of curve throughout. On the bandsaw, the piece has to fit, uh, can't be wider in the turn between the blade and the, this arm over here. So there is a limitation there. We can resaw with a bandsaw, which we can't do with a jigsaw, and we can cut curves.
curved with both of them, although the thickness of the curve and the size of the curve vary for the capability of the bandsaw versus the jigsaw.